up, Pat? We're going to try to officially watch the Guardians of the Galaxy show. Right. We've given you little, little snippets here and there, so we're like, you just gotta go and actually watch it. And I, I need some Beverly in my life. <laughs> yesterday. Man, I'm not just doing my Beverly today. I'm gonna get my other favorite. I thought you liked that one, yeah. The Garana Berry. From Brazil. My two favorites. Okay, got my Beverly fix. Got my uh, Brazil fix. You never even talk about what I get. Sarah gets a little bit of everything though. I do get a little bit of everything. I really like the Sparletta from Zimbabwe. Um, now we're gonna Put ourselves over to America. I'm like really full. <laughs> we had a vegetarian dinner, but like, whoo, that we quinoa like will expand in your belly like a bowl of pasta. <laughs> we gotta run over to America because the show's in like 45 minutes, I think, right? Time's right now. 40, yeah. It's in 40 I minutes. We well, not run, but we just gotta get there because I don't know how the line is. It doesn't look as busy today, which is good. But we just gotta make sure we get in there. I don't care where. Okay. As long as we get in there. So we don't have to worry about a crowd. I guess it is a Monday night though. There's nobody in this park. No. Music is such an important part of our history. So, to be our first representatives, we have identified our finest and brightest symphonic artists to share with you the harmonious sounds of our planet. Shall we show them how we do it on Zendar? Yeah. Zardu Hasselbrow! Zardu Hasselbrow! Rook to Rick!
consider Kenway Processional in like the same realm because that's just separate but that was the most entertaining thing I'm so glad that's all summer I'm gonna fight to see that every time we come to the park now especially because it is starts at 1 p.m. and goes like I think once or twice an hour until 8 p.m. there's so many what do you think best show best show on that stage yeah I'm trying to think if I've seen other, you know, there's Candlelight Procession. I, t I just said that Candlelight Procession is separate because it's so separate. So okay, you take away Candlelight Procession, I think that was the best performance. Mm -hmm. And we're fighting every time we come here, we're going to go see that between now and the end of the summer. We decided to explore this pavilion because we don't really see it at the dusk or the golden hour. So, like right here, we could not be in Disney World right now. Oh, she wants to find her singing friends. We don't come in the back of this pavilion often, but this is hollowed ground right here. What? You know what that is? You know about the reference? What happened right here? Underneath this light, in front of this wall. We decided on the Epcot shirt. We decided that the Epcot shirt was, in fact, the Epcot shirt. And Sarah took a funny photo of me, because I kind of blended in, and I said, I will forever wear this shirt at Epcot. And I've not been to Epcot twice. This is the craziest pavilion to me. Literally the most intense. I don't think people realize how beautiful and detailed and amazing it is. There's a camel. What should I take a picture of? Just in case Sarah edits it out, she didn't know what hollow ground meant. She thought it was hollow ground, like holes in the ground. But she learns something new every day, right, sir? Not if I keep saying it all overnight, you're not going to have to vlog then. See, like, look at all the details. Look at everybody having nooks and cranny fun. I gotta say, it is literally perfect out. Yeah. Like, like, not a hint of cold, not a hint of too hot. There's a slight breeze, very, very subtle. Hot today. No humidity. It's just perfect, but the air is not still. And it's like perfectly sunsetty right now. Barely. And look at these crowds. This is usually a bottleneck. We're just gotta get a good spot. Where should we go? All right, we're not going in old Canada, but we're going at least to the gift shop. I'm gonna walk through the pavilion right before Illuminations. And we wanna see what kind of good treats that we eye. And we always love the merchandise in here, but thank you again, Becca and Brian, for that awesome box. We just finished the cookies today, and I know there's more in really here. Fast. It was fast. But we're not going to get any. We're just going to look at how delicious they are. Yeah, they have one for every country now. Like in this style. Uh -huh. Let's get them all. Yeah. 
true. Wait, wait. We welcome all wait, of you this is my favorite. And world showcase. Favorite? Favorite. We're gathered Better than Happy Ever After. Around the fire. To me. As people of all lands are watching it as many times as possible. Because we know it's got a limited lifespan. We hope you enjoy our story tonight. Yes. Reflections of Earth. We never showed our presidential parking. Right here is medical parking, spaceship earth entrance, our car. The maze 33, this beauty right here. Everybody, you've never met her, I don't think, before. This is Maleficent, Millie for short. This is Kristen's cat. We've been coming to feed her and to give her love. Kristen's been in New York. She comes back tomorrow. Oh, you like the pets? You're purring nice and good. Okay, Millie, we gotta go. We'll see you later, okay? Thanks for being so good. We're home. It's a little bit before 11. We're not going to bed yet. Don't get excited that we're actually gonna get a full night's sleep. We're gonna try to watch a movie that we've never seen before that we've wanted to for so long. And that is, inspired by Garrett G from the Buckless Family, the Secret Life of Walter Mitty. I love the music, I've been listening to it. I actually never saw this movie before and it's a, it's a few years old. Wish us luck that Sarah will stay awake through the next it's two starting, hours. It's starting. Oh, sorry, look it. And who doesn't love Ben Stiller? It's like quarter to one. It was a really good movie. Very, one of those like, uh, like make you feel good movies. Very much, two important things, like one very much like what we do where it's like you just live your best life and don't let anything hold you back kind of thing and just pursue your dreams but an interesting statement was made and there's a photographer in it and he's a famous photographer and he was trying to get a photo of a snow leopard and uh, Walter Mitty was with him and he's like there it is and he just looks at it through the lens and was like huh and he was like why didn't you take the photo and he's a photographer was like sometimes I don't sometimes I really like the moment. I like to not have the camera there. I think that's important to realize that like we put our daily life on the internet for all of, to share with you, our loved our loved ones and our family back at home and everyone else who would care to join our journey. But those vlogs only last 12 to 20 minutes and we live and you know how very little sleep we get. We live like 18 to 20 hours a day um, so it's just interesting to think about like and I used to think about this when I used to watch daily vloggers or YouTube people before I was on the internet though like what do they do besides that but it's sometimes when we're talking to you guys in the parks or meeting up with friends um, the camera's not there just because we're soaking up the moment with that it's good to be home Eve we know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>